Okay, so before we start, if you are new on my channel or if you did not subscribe my channel, just go to my channel and click on subscribe. Make sure that click on this bell button and check mark this send me all notification for this channel and click on save. By doing this, you will get every single update of my new videos. Also visit my channel, I am sure that you will find a lot more cool stuff on my channel. In this video, we are going to create face paint and tattoo displacement in Photoshop CS6 Extended. It will be super fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Nan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a face paint and tattoo displacement on skin or on your face. Uh, just like wrap around your skin and it will be amazing and super easy. Uh, we will use Photoshop actions as well and I know the simple method of uh, pasting this but I know uh, we don't want to waste our time so that's why I really want to care about some actions but it's an easy work also so for with having perfect outputs and uh, uh, before we start you can see that this desktop is full of icons and some images folders and some psd files because i have practiced a lot about this because it's really amazing and super fun because uh, it's super easy actually and i really enjoyed this thing so in that case i just worked a lot and that just came with a lots of icons so sorry about these kind of things and uh, one more thing uh some people are asking about there is no 3d option in photoshop cs6 let me just show you uh photoshop so this is my photoshop and uh, you can see that there is 3d version inside this so i always mention that without a, uh, any type of doubt without any tension just go to help and click on about uh, photoshop you will see that there is not if you have no 3d version make sure that you have an extended version okay if you have this extended version there is surely a 3d option okay and if you did not see that it means that you don't have enough hardware to uh, we can say that capable uh, capabilities having capabilities of 3d okay and one more thing in case you have photoshop cs6 extended uh, okay and you also have this 3d option and you that these menus are not visible so the simple method is uh, is this just go to edit preference and go to 3d you will see that uh, I have 2 GB of RAM but uh, it's uh, allocated for 1 GB so it's not a big deal so let's just go to performance okay from here just make sure to click that use graphic processor then when you click that click on ok and just restart your Photoshop and you will see there is a 3D option and if you still didn't see that it means that you have a less hardware which are not compatible for that version or we can say that your hardware is not enough to handle these kind of big uh, setup so that's why don't worry about that but in photoshop cc there is no problem about extended versions so you can use 3d but there are lots of cool features in photoshop cs6 and much easier okay so the outputs are much better in photoshop cs6 i believe but in cc 2017 it really uh, we can say that blast the barriers okay Oh, I, I used very heavy words. Okay, so let's get back to our tutorial uh, because we have gone too far. And one more thing, some actions are deleted because from my uh, blog. It, I don't know how because maybe I just allow editing while I was uploading and publishing that. So I just uh, disabled the allow editing and just you can just download view and that's it. So if some actions are missing, you can just comment under the video and I will surely add your actions. So it's not a big deal for me. And now we will start our work. So before we start as usual let me show you some examples what we can create and what will be the outputs so this is a simple image you can see that and i just uh, created a selection and after selection we provide some eyes so the tattoo will not apply it on these eyes and this mouth so this that's why this uh, separate file is used and in the end when we run our actions you will see the results 
there is a lots of cool thing this is not a good example i know but it's just a small examples uh, for you so let's just save this thing and move to the next one so this example okay again i just created selection then uh, if you want to uh, hide anything from here it, it means that if you don't want to apply your tattoo on this side you can just select this remain and you can fill the area okay so this area will uh, specify that your tattoo will be applied only in the in between this area okay and uh, this when you will create selection on this layer it means that on this layer there will not tattoo applied on that area which is selected on this layer okay so let's just close and after running our actions the final results are here okay it's a uh, cool i know it's amazing i love this thing and it works perfect and I, I i hope it will work in photoshop cc because i did not try it in photoshop cc so that's why i i hope it could work on that so let's just close this one and move to this example okay so we have two examples here same thing but different tattoos so again specify the area and on the next thing uh, if you want, if you don't want to apply your uh, tattoo in in some areas, you can just uh, uh, give details. So I will, when, when we will start our work, I will show you what how we can do that. So after running our actions, the final results are here. You can see that it looks amazing and insane. So I just created some of the uh, examples on my uh, on my own. So there are lots of things inside that. There are lots of uh, color options inside inside uh, these actions. So you can use them or you can use your own okay it's on your choice so let's just close this example and we will uh, run this one okay so you can see that again uh, we will create selection and there is no area which we don't want to apply our defect sorry about that and uh, run our actions the final results are here so and that's it this is what I want to show you so uh, there are lots of things here you can see that uh, this is the blurness you can just increase the detail this is the sharpness you can just copy this and there is lots of detail here press ctrl j again and it will sharpen again so it will match the body detail so uh, it's your choice uh, that's it this is what i want to show you just ctrl s we will save this thing and we will start our work without wasting any kind of time so uh, this is our image which we will use today so we will apply a tattoo on this uh, body uh, with having a lots of cool muscles in that uh, picture so uh, let's start over so uh, time to uh, uh, give you some uh, instructions before we start anything else uh, make sure that you have a RGB image you have 8 bit per channel image and go to image image size you can see that it's uh, 2848 pixel it's a high definition image okay but for this this section uh, i surely say that i can surely say that there is no problem with size okay so but try to make a high definition image okay above from 1000 pixel it's much better to get good quality okay and that's it and uh, let's start our work and now it's time to load our actions so it's not a big deal just go to edit preset preset manager from the preset manager we will go to uh, oops sorry we are wrong side uh, we should need to load actions so we'll go to you can see that if you don't see this icon uh, on this side this play button just go to windows and click on actions okay so there we have our actions now it's time to load our actions okay so it's a simple thing <coughs> <coughs> just go to this uh, top icon click on load actions from the load actions uh, go to uh, your file where you have downloaded that file just move to this file you will see that there is a face painting action file just click and load i have already load this, uh, loaded this loaded uh, this file so i don't need to do that again and now we'll open this and there are three things inside that one is step one which is brush on face then remain detail and then place picture so now it's a small thing let's start from very basic we don't need to create anything else before we run our action just go to this layer panel and click on panel option from the panel option make sure that you have a add copy to copy layers and groups now we'll click on ok and now we will start our work uh, open this up uh, and uh, just click on this uh, step one and click on play button but before we do that just go to edit purge and all it's already erased so that's a good thing for us now we'll click on play button and you will see that it have created a uh, layer with the name paint selection now you can see that the foreground color is changed now select your brush tool hide this thing uh, make it a bigger size and uh, 
just paint the area on which you want to apply the tattoo so i want to apply the tattoo on these areas so i will select these areas okay so i have selected my choice area and it's perfect now i want to apply uh, my uh, effect on this so what we will do is uh we'll simply just uh, go to the actions and we'll go back to the step two now and open this up and we'll play this action now okay on this layer uh if you don't want to apply uh our tattoo on some area then you can just create selection and there is the tattoo will not be applied on these inside these selections so there is no area on which you want to apply it's not a big deal if you don't have in uh, if you don't have any area then you just leave this empty layer and then move to the next step we'll step to the uh, move to the next step which is step three we'll open this up and on this step we'll play this action and there will be some instructions to follow there is the instruction one which is saying that choose and insert a picture logo symbol etc okay so now click on continue okay so it will open up a uh, open dialog box which is saying that select the tattoo which you want to apply or select the uh, logo icon or whatever you want to apply on this uh, on this area so what we will do is just go to desktop and we will select which thing we want to apply so i think we should just apply this thing so click on place and uh, you can just uh, you can do a lot more things with that just press ctrl t then size it up just adjust your tattoo where it looks best uh, for you like this and uh, yes you can make it uh, change the color options to make it look like much better so it, it will looks much better uh, on this image so we can just size it up a little bit And I think I am fine with this uh, setting. So now just click on uh, check mark, and now action will start its work. Now it is asking about save file display uh, displays map PSD in your desktop anywhere in your computer uh, computers folder. Click continue button. Okay, we will click on continue, and now we'll save this file name with any name. Okay, so I just saved lots of names, so we will change the name to displacement map uh, ten. So that's that's. Uh, great thing displacement map 10 so keep remember this uh, make save this in photoshop psd file click on save and uh, now it will work again you can see that now pinch so you can uh, make it uh, pinch this how much uh, the uh, we can say that waves include in that so maybe i think we are fine with this uh, 31 or 32 it's much better so you can adjust your choice so click on ok and then action will uh, work again you can see that it's working now and on the next step uh, it is asking about a displacement message appeared just click on ok browse to the displacement map psd file you have saved on your computer and uh, click on open we'll click on continue now we will not uh, touch these settings these are as default click on ok okay now select the file which you have saved i have saved with the name displacement 10 map so we'll select this file and click on open and now the file uh, will start its work so it will take a little time so we'll wait for the process to complete its work okay so the process is complete and you can see the final output looks much amazing so we will just uh, go to the top we'll close everything from here and you will see that there are lots of things here so now you can see that you can just uh, open this picture on face or uh, and you can just turn off this uh, uh, we can say that white or we can say that background it looks better but I, I i suggest you to use this because it looks cool okay and uh, yes there is a color options here and some somewhere if you feel that your logo is overlapping the situation so just click on this uh, picture thumbnail and uh, layer mask thumbnail press your brush tool and size it down a little bit and for your, your foreground color should be black and just paint over it so make it a little harder then smaller 
and make it just like invisible so it will be invisible like this that's it same thing for this or uh, you can just do this or not it's your choice like this and uh, yes this is it and uh, you can just make changes in that just open this up and this is the sharpen option you can make your image sharp like this you can see that it, it will increase the sharpness here and uh, you can just copy this group and you will see that the sharpness is rapidly increasing make more copy more copy and more copy you will see that the more copies you make the more sharpness will be increased and it looks stunning okay at this moment and you can just uh, adjust your sharpness area uh, level and after that there are lots of color options here you can see that there are 20 color options you can use so this is the adjustment it's a black and white and uh, these are color options here you can use uh, like uh, this blue this uh, yellowish color these type of colors some matte colors and some hard colors you can use there are lots of multi colors also so you can use also and uh, just adjust yourself uh, and uh, select the choice color okay so that's it uh, this is what we have uh, uh, learned this and you can do a lot more cool things in that like uh, there are you can just select your picture on face just go to adjustments and click on this uh, uh, this not a levels uh, just delete that and just go to this uh, brightness and contrast and make it uh, layer mask and you can see that it will hide your overall area and you can increase the brightness of this selected area but it's not a good thing you can just it works on some images but it will not work on most of the images so that's why and you can just go to selective colors and you can increase or decrease the dark color like this and make it like uh, more much cooler or much cooler like this and there we have that's it so i hope you like this video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and uh, one more thing uh, subscribe to my channel it's very very important for me because you guys are supporting me so much and i really need your support so uh, these actions are included in the uh, video under the video and you can just the link is given in the description bar and you can free download these actions and uh, we'll meet in our next video never depend never stop and keep learning